Hey, welcome to monthly news number 18. Come in here, this Dave. Video. Come on, Dave. Come on. Hello, welcome to monthly news video number 18. As always, quick, rough and unpolished. And dirty. <laughs> uh, for this monthly news, we're going to be taking over to give Dave a little rest after 17 consecutive monthly news. For those of you who don't know us, she's Kat, Katrina, also called Catbot, and she is responsible for a bazaar, as well as taking care of the Instagram page, which you will love by now, I'm sure. And that's Mattia, uh, I guess you all know him already, the ones who have been following Precious Plastic. He's been working for Dave for three or four years, a long time already, doing digital design and strategy, a lot of things. As some of you might know, uh, we are currently in Portugal, um, us two with Dave and Ben, our developer, our technical expert. Hey! Yeah, enjoying the sun, the weather, the sea, some ice cream and uh, van life or digging out yeah. the cars from the sand. Maybe now is a good time to, to mention how uh, Katrina came all the way down from Munich on a, on a bus to try and avoid flying and reducing the cardboard footprint on a 40 plus hour. Uh, hero, amazing. And Dave, Dave had a little presentation in Paris in the beginning of July and he went from Lisbon to Paris and back to Lisbon on a bus on a 55 hour bus journey and within three days <laughs> within three days we don't want to say that's that's the solution uh, we just saying you know flying is very polluting we try to look into alternatives of traveling how we could uh, travel in a more sustainable way and we're not saying that's the best solution or the final solution but at least we question how we do things nowadays and I think that's what's important and of course we have Mattia who went all the way from Italy doing a zero waste trip because we have plastic free July. Yeah, avoiding plastic waste. It was a great experience and now I try to convince the guys to also take it on into this uh, other trip that we're doing together. So for the past two weeks we've been trying not to buy any plastic per se, but also waste in general. A lot of bulk food, a lot of zero waste shops where you can get refillable stuff basically. Great experience, a lot of learning, it's definitely possible. Uh, and I would advise every single one of you to get on board and stop buying not needed waste and trash and packaging. Try to avoid that. It's possible, doable and it's a lot of fun. Okay, but the real reason why we're here, we're here in Portugal is uh, really to develop a new version of precious plastic. So as you probably know, we won 300,000 euro last month. 300,000 euro! This is crazy. I mean, it's a lot of money. I can't even count that far. <laughs> so for the past two weeks, we've been, uh, you know, talking, discussing, researching on how we could uh, make the project more successful, more open, more collaborative, so that more and more people can join the movement and try to really work together to find a solution to this gigantic mess that we are all part of, basically. So very soon we're going to be needing a lot of designers, developers, engineers, activists, vegan chefs. We're trying to put together a team of about 50 people to come down to the Netherlands. We will publish the plan on August 1st, so stay tuned and check out the website next.preciousplastic.com where we will share the plan and show you how you can get involved. If you have some free time, ideas on how to fix this problem, come down to the Netherlands, join forces and let's work together as one army. And now is every month, community news. So let's start the community news with, with the news. So for the past three or four months, I've been uh, constantly working on creating articles every week uh, about the plastic issue and our community, machines, workspaces that are particularly successful in order to try and understand a bit better what's going on on a global scale around this problem and particularly in the precious plastic community so if you have some time do make sure to check the news feeds on our uh, on Dave Atkins on Netherlands and uh, make sure to interact as well make sure to leave a comment give us feedback and let us know what you think and also the people that we're talking about so if you know if I'm talking about a workspace you know, do make sure to send them your love and to send them your remarks or doubts or questions so that we can all engage a bit more within the community and, and make sure to grow all together. 
Then it's nice to see that many people all over the world got inspired from the technique from Kunststoffschmiede, the guys in Dresden, um, who came up with this acrylic glass mold. And many people all over the world started doing the same and working with plexiglass mold. Um, it's actually super nice because then you can see how the plastic is injected in your mold and very useful because then you know when the mold is full. And it's just very cool to watch. And this is a feature that we're going to be enhancing even more with version 4. So yeah, be ready to share how you do things so that more people can learn from you, your technique and your way of working. And another interesting and cool thing to see is that many people from the community also started making their workspace in a container. Like the guys in Denmark, setting up a shop and one workspace container. Fresh Plastic LA, these guys are rocking it. And then also not to forget our lovely Bjorn from Iceland setting up Precious Plastic Reykjavik also in a container. Okay, so thanks everybody for watching and that's all for this monthly... Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, thanks everyone for supporting on Patreon and we're gonna see you next month.